Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we're going to talk about what do I put under my mask because I have to wear a mask for uh, 9 hours so this is going to be uh, makeup that is very resistant under your mask but also we're going to play a little bit with this eyeshadow palette from uh, um, Elf. This is the size five and I have my new pumpkin pie. This is how it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful inside. I heard a lot of people talking about this and um, I was just interested to see how actually it looks like on the eyes uh, because most of the people when they do talk about it they do not actually show it how it is and it says on the back that is this palette delivers mini eye magic in a perfect size the locks formula is creamy blendable and ultra pigmented I mean, yeah it looks really nice so I'm kind of interested to see how it looks like so why don't we get started I'm just gonna go and I think I'm just gonna go and grab this and put it in my crease. No, I actually, I'm gonna go with this one and put it in my crease and then I'm gonna use that one maybe just to kind of darken it up a little bit. But I do have to say these two colors kind of look very, very similar. So I, I don't know why they're so close to each other, but we're gonna see how they all, the, all of them perform today. So like I was saying, I I had to go back to work this past week and I am a sales representative for um, a jewelry, fine jewelry store and I was really, really, um, not necessarily shocked, but I was a, a little bit worried about the fact that I have to wear a mask for so many hours and in my first day when I went back I had to say I tried uh, a foundation and all the stuff that I usually wear that um, I thought it's gonna be all right you know with the with the with the mask on and everything like that well I, it wasn't <laughs> um, by the time of that by the day by the end of that day uh, those a uh, nine hour shift I actually ended up having uh, literally no makeup on because I did not realize that when you're wearing a uh, mask for so long, it's gonna make uh, it's gonna make you sweat <laughs> like crazy, you know, and you're not able to breathe your normal breathing, and on top of that, it's just like everything stuck. <laughs> Like this area and this flow is gonna make you feel really, really hot. And I'm not saying like hot, like you're looking great, like hot, like it's dying summer weather out, you know. And here in Washington State, we did not have such really hot weather lately, so it wasn't that. It was just the fact that wearing the mask is just so, so hard. Um, to do and especially having some makeup underneath it that is not water resistant, waterproof or, or sweat resistant is also very difficult so I would show you I will show you in just a minute after we're done with this look what I usually do wear now that I had the opportunity to experience for a few days and just kind of find the right one because it, it was a struggle <laughs> but I knew I had a bunch of things in my collection and I was almost almost uh, ready to go back and purchase one foundation that I know that's freaking amazing for the summertime but um, I uh, I have this other one that it works just fine as well okay so this palette from what I can see it works really nice I uh, I do like it. I mean, the blend it, it blended really, really nice. So I'm kind of surprised about that. I'm just gonna go and grab this one right here and just put that on my um my eyelid. There we go. Actually, this is really nice. You know. Um, so I was saying I did wanted to go to purchase um, foundation that I thought 
I mean, I know it's really amazing. I tried it last year, but I think I'm still gonna do that. But for now, I still have a really good foundation that it stays uh, put all day long in combination with a really good powder. I just want to go in with this darker shade and go in this outer corner to darken up a little bit. My experience going back to work is a little bit... It's, it's really kind of difficult because the way I see it is like what we have to do it, it, it is it is a lot like we have to clean everything disinfect everything after each customer every hour we have to clean everything from one end to another and it's not a very small store like we have a lot of uh, things to cover right um, so it's it's kind of hard but um, we're trying to adapt to it and also like the interaction with customer it does, it's a little strange because we have to act like anybody is potentially sick or whatever like i cannot get anything from the customer without disinfecting it first i have to ask the customer to uh, use a, a hand sanitizer before trying something so that is just kind of it, it is hard and especially when you're like very used to hands on with your customers and make sure that they, they try things properly and help them put uh, chains on or you know it's, it's just and you can't do that anymore you can't do that anymore same with watches and stuff like that it's just like that you have to buy them and you have to tell them so they can do it um, alone because I'm to touch them. I mean, it sounds weird, but it's not like <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm not supposed to touch them in any shape or form or get in contact with anything, anything that uh, they uh, hand it to you without cleaning it first. So it's a work in progress. We're trying to get used to that. It's like not really the greatest of that, but then I should because you never know what, who is sick and who's not. And more and more cases are showing up every day, and that's really troublesome. Uh, so uh, yeah, I I do need to be a little bit better. And that area. Okay, so I'm gonna go back with the, with a little bit of this shimmer and put it more into the end, like on this area right here. So it's a nice one for sure. It's I mean it's not an amazing, not necessarily an amazing formula, but for three dollars that's awesome. It is really pretty. You can create a nice look with it, so uh, that's good. Um, I'm gonna go real fast with this uh, Positions Formula Cat uh, Sexy Booster Cat Eye Collection and uh, just, uh, just a little bit of eyeliner I'm not gonna do a big green just something small considering that that's the Basically, my eyes, it's almost the only area that I can see uh, during the day. Definitely, I am concentrating more on my eye look during this time. Before, I was concentrating more on my skin. I want to make, my, uh, make sure my skin looks amazing. Now, I'm more like, I am not sure that my eye look looks amazing because that's what people are going to see. Everything else is going to be hidden under the mask. Okay. So that's how that one looks like. 
We're gonna go with mascara. There's gonna be coming a video where I wear all my mascaras and I am gonna try to insert footage of every single one of them applying it. So this is gonna be one of them. Um, anyway, so there we go. I added just a little bit more than that. We're gonna go with Pure Fully Charged Mascara. so this is how the mascara looks like and the eye look I'm really pretty alright now let's talk about the things that I used on my face as you can see my face is or less <laughs> but the things that I did use on my face and I uh, tested this formula and I have had some amazing results with it so I what I usually do I put this um, Ulta Beauty hydrating face primer I usually prefer the other one from Ulta Beauty but I'm out of it right now Formless primer I think it's called so I'm just using this one right now and then for foundation I went with Super Stay foundation this is full coverage and it's in 310 sun beige this is an amazing foundation because it is seamless matte finish it's breathable comfortable fade and transfer resistant so that's one of the reasons why I went with this this is um, it doesn't clog your pores as well so uh, you need to look for a water water fade resistant transfer resistant whatever it is you gotta go with those type of uh, um, product um, the other foundation that I did want to go and repurchase and probably I'm gonna do that we also now when the weather is gonna get warmer probably I'm gonna need something even better even more water resistant so um, the one that I do really like it is from CoverGirl it is the active foundation it is the active foundation I'm gonna send a picture somewhere right here so you can see it also on top of that what I went with I went with all nighter from urban decay this is a waterproof setting powder so this one is actually helping me a lot as for my concealer I went with Tarte Double Duty Beauty and I do you go sometimes with a little bit of bronzer or something like that? But today I'm not feeling like I need any bronzer. To be honest with you, you can't see anything under it. You can't see anything under the mask. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go with a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna use this one that is from Too Faced and this is Love Light and You Light Me. Light up my life. And just kinda go over here a little bit. It. and then for my lips it is really hard for me not applying any lipstick but you're not gonna see it like there's not gonna be anybody saying no to lipstick under your mask for sure so what I do I'm just gonna go with this balm from um, Pat McGrath and now it is the mask I went really fast to change my outfit because this is the outfit that I'm gonna wear for work and we're just gonna go with my mask and you're gonna get to see how it's gonna look like. Alright, so that's how my look is with my mask on. Uh, but yeah, this is basically what my customers are going to see all day today. So um, yeah, that is all for today. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!